right, on today's episode of Pipe Don't Pop Eat, we're back inside our TensorFlow course, and we're still inside our Linear Algebra Operations module. Let's have a look at what we went over today. And the last time we spoke, we were looking at the tf.insum method and a bunch of different use cases for that method. Now today we went over a bunch of different uses for that method, and the one we're going to go over is the transpose function. Now, let me go up a little. As you can see, we got here this A matrix, and we transposed it. So if you take a look here, this first column, we have 2, 2, 1. If you look at the transpose version, we have a 2, 2, 1 row. If you look at the 6, negative 2, 5 column, we have a 6, negative 2, 5 row. So in essence, as you probably figured out, when the matrix is transposed, its shape is changed. So we went from a 4 by 3 here to a 3 by 4. And that's all the transpose matrix does. It transforms the shape. So we no longer have a 4 by 3. We have a 3 by 4. And we actually ran the in some transpose version of that. As you can see, we have an IJ to a JI using the A matrix. Now, what that is saying is we took the IJ, which is the original A matrix, and we transposed it to a JI. It's new shape. It's the same matrix, but a new shape. As you can see, we have a 3 by 4 here instead of the 4 by 3 or using the A matrix. This is the, this is the output. It's the same output as the original. That's because it's all based on the same template. So the 2, 2, 1. 2, 2, 1. 6, negative 2, 5. 6, negative 2, 5. And that's pretty much it with the transposing. That's what we're going to go over today. Like I said, we did a lot of note-taking. The linear algebra operations module is pretty detailed. And I want to stay focused on it because it is new to me. So I want to make sure I'm grasping all the details and concepts. But yeah, we're moving right along and we're going to keep moving forward. And I want to keep you guys with me every step of the way. Now, the next thing we're going to go over, most likely tomorrow, is going to be the... Uh, Working with three dimensional arrays. And I'll keep you posting an update on that one. But for now, this is the Python Poppy. You guys stay Gucci.